cataractcoach.com. Cataract quiz. Is it intumescent or not? I mean, look at this white cataract. What do you think? Will there be lens milk? Now, this is me operating. I sped the video up to 2x normal speed. And we'll put some tripan blue dye in the eye. Let that stay in the anterior lens capsule. And we'll proceed with some phaco time. Now, the question is, is this an intumescent white cataract? How can you tell? Now, let me dilute down the, the tripan blue dye here and take a look. The center is pretty white. But look at the periphery of that lens, right into the iris border, right in the pupil margin. See the eyes dilated? It's clear. So it's opaque. Yeah, for sure it's opaque. I could not get opt optical biometry. I had to use ultrasound biometry because I couldn't measure the axial length. So look, no lens milk. How did I know? Well, because the periphery is clear. If you look at the video here, look at the picture, the periphery of the lens nucleus is not yet opaque or opacified. So if you had liquefied lens cortex where it's all whitish, that liquid spreads everywhere. And even the periphery near the lens equator is opaque, but here it's not. So we'll get that nucleus up out of the capsule bag. Now there's certainly some density in this nucleus and I'll chop that thing up and aspirate it down. Now, this is me operating against 2x normal speed. We'll get a chop there going. Let's see. Ooh, there you go. That's a satisfying chop. Chop that nucleus in half. Maybe we'll chop it again. Let me see. Oh, another. Well, almost a chop. Come on, cataract coach. You got. Come on, cataract coach. Step up the game. There we go. So we're going to chop this nucleus up in a lot of little pieces, as you can tell. We'll emulsify this. It's denser than I thought. I thought because the patient's on the young side, look at the eyelashes. I thought it'd be a little bit softer, but no, it's got a pretty good amount of density to it. Now, this patient came from out of town to see me, so I obviously I got to give a beautiful outcome here, as I do for all my patients. But here we're emulsifying the pieces, goes down pretty easily. I'm happy, pretty good. We've already marked the eye for a toric eye well. The ink marks at the limbus are just an extra added measure of confidence, but really not used for the toric eye well positioning. Here comes the last piece, chop in the safe position. Look, there is almost no cortex, very little cortex. So, of course, it was a dense cataract. It was whitish in the center, but the periphery was clear, and that tells me there's not going to be much, if any, lens milk. Now, did I tell you about the Cataract Coach podcast? It's the top podcast in all of ophthalmology. The sole purpose is to make you more successful in your career. So if you want to be more successful, you check out the Cataract Coach podcast. Everywhere where you find podcasts, Search for cataract coach or just search for my name. Now, cleaning up the rest of the cortex here. Here's the IA probe cleaning up pretty well. Now, sometimes with these white cataracts, you can't clean up all the stuff from the lens capsule. You clean it up as much as you can. Just keeping in mind that what an improvement you're going to give this patient. Pre-op vision was almost nothing. As I say, it was hand motion. Or if you move your hand fast enough, we call that wind perception. So now here comes the cohesive visceralizing. Look at that. That's a pretty good rex, I must say. And now cleaning up, polishing the anterior lens caps, the undersurface of it with this polisher. Looks pretty good. Let's get that lens in. Here comes the lens, single piece, acrylic monofocal lens, a toric lens to address astigmatism. Get that thing opened up, put it into position. There we go. Happy it's opening up nicely. Let's see that rex. Did I do a good job with the rexus? Yeah, I'm starting to get reasonable. So... There we go. Take out the visclastic. Important to get the visclastic from behind the optic. Why? Because you want the optic to sit directly on the lens capsule, on the poster capsule, because then you can have it adhere in position. Remember, these lenses are a little bit tacky or sticky, so they'll stay where you put them. So here we'll get that perfect astigmatic axis. If you look carefully, there are marks on the cornea. So all I have to do is line up the marks of the IOL with the marks of the cornea, and we're golden. Now let's seal up the incision here, a little bit of hydration. Come on, cataract coach, send the eye up, bro. At least your drapes are okay, but I mean, come on. Check out that podcast, you're going to love it. It's the Cataract Coach Podcast. There's so much to learn, I promise it'll make you a better surgeon.